This video is part of the North Seal Series 2700 High Pressure Control Valve Maintenance videos. In this video, I'll highlight disassembling and reassembling a valve with a balanced plug control trim. Before you work on a valve, you want to take a few steps to ensure safe handling. First, isolate the valve from the system. Finally, shut off and vent the supply and signal air lines to the diaphragm and release the process pressure for both upstream and downstream. You can work on the valve while it's in line as long as the line isn't in service and only if the line is isolated from the process by block valves. To disassemble the valve, you'll need to loosen the lock nut on the diaphragm stem and turn the adjusting nut above it counterclockwise to remove the spring's preload. This will leave the diaphragm attached to the valve bonnet. Remove the nuts from the bonnet flange studs. Lift the bonnet off the body valve along with a guide, cage, plug, and stem. Make sure you lift straight up so you don't damage the valve internals. Separate the plug from the stem by driving out the plug pin with a punch and turning the plug, cage, and guide counterclockwise. The plug pin is exposed and visible just above the guide. If the valve plug needs replacing, always replace the entire plug, plug pin, and stem assembly. If the diaphragm valve stem connector has been removed, the stem and trim assembly can be removed from the bonnet. Always replace the packing if the stem is removed from the valve bonnet. Loosen the packing retainer and remove the stem from the bonnet. Slide the plug out of the cage and guide and lift the seat ring and gasket out of the body. Before you start, clean all gasket surfaces, including the body, bonnet, and guide. You can use a light coat of lubricant on the soft seals to make the process easier. Now let's talk about reassembling your valve. If you're going to reuse the packing and it was not removed from the bonnet, be careful when you reinstall the stem to avoid damaging the packing with the valve stem threads. You should be using all new gaskets and seals. Now, push the stem through the bonnet packing, making sure you don't damage the packing. Next, if you have a plug with an insert, you'll need to assemble it. Place the O-ring into the cavity of the plug butt and install the insert into the butt recess. Install the plug retainer, pushing the locating boss through the insert and O-ring, and install the socket head cap screw and torque half-inch screws to 60 foot-pounds and three-quarter inch screws to 125 foot-pounds. To reassemble the guide, cage, and plug assembly, you'll place the upper plug guide upside down on a flat surface and insert the seal rings into the guide recess. Place the cage into the upper plug guide recess with the extended lip down and insert the valve plug with the stem thread down into the cage guide. Press the plug downward into the lower cage through the seals. A block of wood may be necessary to drive the plug downward until the large portion of the valve plug shoulder bottoms on the internal recess of the cage. Next, place the guide gasket over the valve stem to make the seal between the bonnet and upper guide. Install the plug cage guide and gasket assembly on the stem by screwing the plug into the valve stem clockwise until the hole in the plug top aligns with the hole in the valve stem. And insert the roll pin until it is flush with the outside diameter of the plug. Install the new seat gasket into the seat cavity in the body's bridge wall and the seat ring into the body's seat cavity. Next, install the new bonnet gasket into the top valve body overhand recess. Mount the bonnet and the trim assembly onto the body and tighten the bonnet to body bolts to the recommended torques, which you can find in the new Series 2700 O&M manual at www.norseal.com. Tighten the nuts in a cross pattern in 25, 50, 75, and 100% increments of the final torque values. Finally, mount the diaphragm on the bonnet and connect the diaphragm stem to the valve stem. More information on maintaining your 2700 control valves is available in our new operations and maintenance manual, which you can find at www.norseal.com.